Okay, one more time again. Good morning to all of you guys. If you're able to hear me loud and clear, give me one more time a thumbs up one more time. So we are pretty clear that you hear me loud and clear. Now today's session will be very impactful. Uh, I apologize if you stretch a little bit longer, like what happened yesterday, but you know, good stuff, you need to share more. And today, definitely, there's all good stuff to be shared, okay? So eat more, okay, eat less, okay. <laughs> okay, I'll leave it down there. Okay, so let's just start this morning's session. Let me now bring you guys to my, to my PowerPoint slides. All right, good morning to all of you. It's, it's a solid morning. Okay, Thursday. Okay, let me put out my screen properly. Okay. Oops, I'm stretching with the other side corner. Okay, over stretch. Okay. All right, today is the 19th of November 2020. It is a Thursday. Okay. All right, so first of all, please give me your disclaimer as usual. Now, basically, I asked my legal aid on this. I said, hey, uh, when we put on disclaimer, is it effective? You say that, well, it's better than nothing. End of the day, you must make sure that you say the same thing. Okay, so I repeat myself. Okay, I'm not an MAS, not a licensed, uh, licensed representative of any financial firms or anything else. I'm just a regular guy who basically sees market, trades the market for a living. All right, I also coach people for a living. So if people like to be part of my, this uh, trade with the boys team or family, right? We have 430 plus people now, right? Just join me online, okay? Just text me later on the site. Okay, so today I'm gonna share with you my personal view for today. And of course, uh, please make sure that you must to know your personal liabilities and you must know that any winning or losses, I won't be liable for that, okay? So I need to put the word disclaimer right inside the Zoom group chat, which I think most of you have done it. Okay, can I have more of you doing it? Because uh, it'll be good that all of you do it. So that, right, it'd be fair to me, okay? So you put me in a very difficult position, okay? All right, is that all? The last person I saw is Eugene and Robert. Any more? No more. Can you do that? <laughs> yeah, I need, what's actually what happening is that I'm actually screen shooting this also at the side so that, you know, just in case, uh, we just need to protect myself and everything else. Okay, let me just take a quick picture to make sure that it's done properly. Okay. Sometimes in life, you need to do a lot of protection. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you so much. Let's just continue this thing. Okay, so what happened? The Dow sells on coronavirus concern. Now, three days ago, I've been expressing this. During the last MAO, I talked about this. Now, back then, I saw people text me on the site, say that I'm a fear monger, says that I basically tell people that, you know, the virus, virus. I mean, seriously, we are wearing masks every single day. Honestly, yeah, last night, yesterday I was having my hair cut. I wear masks, right? So the hairdresser halfway, oops. Now last time you oops, you scared that is your ear got cut, but I didn't feel any blood. So I know that, oh dear, my mask went off. So my mask <laughs> was being uh, cut away. So that tells me that that's how serious this thing is, my friends, all right? Is that we're still putting on masks. And look at Europe now, it's crazy. And New York, what happened? New York is having a problem. They are now implementing people, the children to stay home again. They are implementing the children to stay home again, okay? So this is not good, all right? But I thought we have vaccine. Well, I told you before, guys, is that yes, vaccine is good, but we need to have it really live. And uh, really, 94, I mean, 90%, 94.5, 95 is all good, but there's still an element of 5%. So think about this, uh, a serious number, okay? Let's say now, in total, 10 million people get this vaccine, okay? And 95% good, all right? But do you know that 5% translate to how many people? 5% of 10 million, how many people is that? Can you tell me, early morning question? 10 million people, 5%, how much is that? How many people is that, just in case? Anybody? No text me an answer? No one text me, yes. It's 500,000 people. So my point is this, if 10 million people get this vaccine and 5% doesn't have any good uh, impact with that, okay, then what happens is 500,000 people around you know, it's not good enough. Serious, this is something that you have to look at it. It looks good in percentage form, but in reality, it's a very different number altogether. Seriously, 500,000 is like probably one seven of Singapore already. So do be careful on that. That's my personal take. Lah. But of course, we saw the other side, but Tesla shoot up after coming into the S&P 500. Later on, uh, if I can, I'll try to show it to you if time permits, huh? all right? So let's look at the Dow Jones right now. I know that you guys are waiting for the chart. 
and I know that you are all waiting for it. Just give me a moment and here we go. Okay, now this is my chart. Now, I told you guys the 29,620 is a very important level that the Dow cannot close below. 29,620, all right? Now, how do I get it again? I took the high over here and the closing price over here, divide by two, I get this number, okay? Pretty simple, right? 29,620. Then the thing is this, we saw the market basically staying above it the last two, three days. That was good. And yesterday, the market actually went down near to it and rebounded. And my friend was very happy to say, Kel, my God, you are so accurate with this. I say, yeah, but the thing is this, it's still, still, the night is still early. I say that wait towards the end of the day. You have to wait for the end of the day. And of course, when the market broke below it, that's it. Now, the question will be, then what's next then? Now, using conventional indicator, conventional, huh? meaning using this chart here, the, next, the Dow Jones resistance today will be the same figure is 29,620. That will be the resistance for today. If the market can go past it, it will go back up again. I repeat, if the market can go past it, it will go back up again. Okay, so where are we now? We're about 200 points away from it. Okay, now what if it's then Kel, now since it's coming down, then where will it be going? Oh, that's very simple. It'll be coming down to here. Huh? Where is here? The closing price of the day, look. So what price is that? That price is uh, 29,151. 29,151. 29,151. So which means now Dow is at 29,417, right? There is a possibility for the Dow to go down all the way to this point here itself, okay? Which is 29,151, okay? Got it? All right. Now, Kel, what if the Dow really goes there? What happened? Now, that means that the market just go back to before Moderna time. Now, Moderna basically came out with a 94.5% and the market just didn't, didn't buy it. So that is whereby there will be question and ask then what's next then? Then the next level will be the MA30, which is here. All right. Now, it's a bit far away, so I will not quote the number today. All right. But if you want to verify with some if your own stats, right, you can just do this. Okay. Okay. Uh, for a minute now, let me just... Take away all our numbers. Aerial software, you know? About 28,600 level. Now, do note again, I'm using AIMS FX, okay? So different brokers will have different numbers. Different numbers in the high, the low, the open and close. Hence, therefore, it will definitely affect the MA, MA figures, okay? Different set of figures will have different MA numbers, okay? Your MA through 200 may be the same or 30. It's the same as mine in terms of parameters but the number may differ between brokers, okay? It's something very important, okay? Now, the thing is this, Cal, but the thing is that, is it a chance that if the market go back to 29,620, it will go higher again? Yes, it will go. So that's why I take note of this figure, 29,620. Okay, now this is something that I did for you, extra for today, extra. Huh? Okay, so this is the day whereby we know that the news came out for Pfizer, all right, you went all the way up, right? Okay, that was Pfizer news, okay? Then of course, after that, it hit a high peak level, it fizzled out and came down to here. So what I did was simple. I did a very simple Fibonacci. So I take the low end of this guy and then put the high end there. That means I'm talking about, I'm using the news as a form of a guide. Then obviously what we saw was after that, the market rebounded. Now, two days ago, it almost reached the high. Now this is, something that I want to share with you. Almost reach a high is never a good thing, okay? Triggering the high and come down also not a good thing. So this is worse because it didn't even trigger, all right? So that means that, right, there are still bulls, huh? still bull, S-T-A-L-E, still bulls inside here. So which means that what? That means that this could be a bull trap. This could be a bull trap. Bull trap means you are trapping the bulls, I mean the buyers. And if these bulls, all right, get trapped, that's only one thing they will do. They'll cut loss. Now think about this, all of you. If I'm caught right here, which you can see majority of the trades are done right here, where would I put my stop loss, right? So obviously you can put it at X, Y, all right, or even Z, okay? So seriously, all these points, X, Y, and Z, these are the technical breakdown point, which means that when the market comes there or will be going towards there, to clear away all these steel bulls, okay? Meaning people who buy, they will try to cut loss 
and X, Y, or Z, okay? Right, so definitely if the market is going towards that direction, it is very simple. Never go and buy an X, Y, and Z first. Don't buy at that level. Wait for it to pierce through. And if the market recovers, then you look to buy if you want to buy, okay? All right, do not stand and buy before X because that is where the boys will sell towards it. Now, the boys already start selling a long time ago. I'll show you my chart later. They already shot a long time ago. So they will look at all the typical stop loss level and they'll aim towards there, okay? Now, of course, on the flip side, you can see that the technical point or the RSI, the conventional uh, indicator, okay? That's why I say don't use RSI, it will kill you actually. All right, but then again, just for the sake of sharing. Okay, you see that most of the time when RSI hit 30, it will stage a typical rebound, okay? But do not itself, right, this time around, the low got lower. So usually this means that there will be one more wave down. There will be one more wave. There might be a temporary correction, which is very typical because to make sure the TA works, all right, to bring more people in. But after that, they sell, right? Usually that means there'll be more, oops, <laughs> there will be more selling to come. Waving. Crystal, <laughs> are you waving or are you watching close? I hope you're not waving though. Okay. All right. Okay. So that is my point here, guys. So be very careful because, all right, the thing is that during this run itself, right, it was Moderna shares that basically came out and said that they got 94.5%. But apparently the market didn't buy on it because market probably realized that their numbers is just percentage form, not in reality form. And of course, when the news came out from Pfizer again yesterday, when they say got 95%, right? The share hardly moved, the market hardly moved. So you are telling me that that is something difficult to tell me that they are buying into this vaccine uh, news. And FYI, uh, Boeing just got clearance to fly again. And imagine that if this virus spread and the vaccine don't come out again, oh my God, oh, this is bad, man, this is bad, okay? This is my personal take. Now, the question is, Kel, if the price really come back to here itself, to where it started, then what happened? Oh, then we talk about that later, all right? If it comes there first, then maybe for short sellers, cover back some position first and hang on for a while, okay? Do not go into heavy shorting. If you want to short, my advice is today breaks opening price, then you look for shorting. Today, it breaks opening price, then you short. If not right, you know, just forget it. Don't sell on the way down to technical point. It's very dangerous. You got, my, got me? Okay, yeah? If you got me, please key number one in the group chat right now, the Zoom group chat, key number one. Now, because this morning I received so many messages asking me, Kel, can you lengthen your sharing today and stuff like that? I said, I will do that. But as long as you guys, you know, uh, help me together with this. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now this is the NASDAQ chart. The NASDAQ, I told you guys, it's a sell. Yesterday, someone asked me, right, tech share, what's your take? Sell. But Tesla went up. Uh, Tesla, not the only share. <laughs> okay, yesterday we saw Apple coming down. Now, the thing is this, let's talk about Apple, but I will believe that Apple will be going down further. If this COVID-19 continue, Apple share should be going down further in my personal take, All right? So this is NASDAQ, and NASDAQ has been down for two days in a row. Now, watch out for the MA30. It should be the first support. That will be the first support for NASDAQ. And uh, that will be, let me bring it in. That will be 11,746 level around there, okay? Plus minus. But the question is this, Cal, why is the NASDAQ coming down then? Well, let's put it this way. We have already more than 150,000 people falling sick in US every single day. Now let's do the math here itself. Uh, every day you down 150,000 people. Your country about 300 million people. Think about this, how long can you, can you last further? Seriously, all right, with people coming down. I'm not talking about just population. I'm talking about the bits. Okay, later I'll show you some news. Okay, you'll be very, very stunned with that. Okay, so NASDAQ, I believe it will be coming down to the MA30 for the first support. Okay, now look at this, my beautiful chart. Every day I just look at this chart. I always look at it. I see that, oh my God. Now I'm going to tell you this up front. Write it down somewhere, okay? Write it down somewhere, okay? I'm saying that on the 23rd of November, 23rd or the most, the most is situated, uh, 23rd or 24th uh, maximum, that will be the turning point of the market, which means that either we're going to see a big sell-off or we're going to see a recovery, which means that, right, from now to 23rd, all right, if the market choose to go down, by 23rd itself, right, look to cover back some position. Are we clear with that? Okay. Now, if the market from today goes up, then by 23rd itself, right, there could be another U-turn to come down again. So are we clear with this? All right. Special gift for today. Now, you may ask, how you know? Seriously, 
I'm a trader for so many years. This is my personal uh, stuff that I know. I keep on seeing this pattern repeats. And when I see this triangle that I draw, I, I draw weeks ago, it's still for following. I know that this is actually correct. Okay, so 23rd November, all right? Okay, I don't know which, what time. Don't ask me what time, okay? If I know what time, I'll be the richest man on earth already, okay? All right, S&P 500. Now, I already tell you this, this drawing that I gave earlier, can you see that it's happening, right? So of course, if you look at this drawing, then people are saying, well, well, Cal, where's the support then? Well, logically, something like that, like if you're talking about triangle drawing, which I don't really support, but nonetheless, uh, just share with you guys. Okay, you can see the triangle, okay? The triangle squeezing to the, to the big core of it. And of course, the intersection point, it will be on this date. Let me just bring it in. And the date to be clear is January the 20th. Wow, this date sounds so familiar. Okay, so which means that January 20th, okay, if this triangle still stand, there will be a very big movement on January 20th, 2021. You see how crazy it is? You can predict things two months later. But of course, again, this is all just sharing highlights, okay? Now, the point is this. For S&P 500, let me just uh, bring it up for you. For S&P 500 as well, right, I strongly believe there should be some support at 3492, right? That should be the MA30. There should be some support around there. I mean, after such a high place, if it comes down, here will be a good point to buy back some position. Of course, if the market breaks below, there will be some selling. Okay. Now, why do I say all these things here? Let me just bring to you some of the charts I brought in for you. Huh? So first of all, you can see that this as of today, we have 135,000 people falling sick in US alone. Okay. Now, yesterday is about 161. Okay. So today it's already 135. Okay, when it's today, it's using, using US timing. Uh, they are so called still about going to midnight for them. Okay, then look at this thing. This is where I really hit. All right, look at it. Look at the share price of Pfizer. Look at it. It's coming down all the way. Can you tell me that if you have a this, you have something so good, would your share price be coming down? I mean, this is my logical sense. I already mentioned this two days ago. I say, guys, if you have this share, better get out. Something is freaking wrong here itself, okay? I may be wrong. Maybe they are taking profits, then they will buy up again. Maybe, but when it happens, then you buy lah. When the whole jump into it uh, and the share price come down, right? There's only one word, it's called a D, it's called distribution. Then why would you want to distribute shares when you have a winning product on your hand? Unless you're faking it, that's all, okay? All right, then why? <laughs> you know, guys, what is happening in the US election, okay? Moderna, look at it. My God, look at it. It literally jumped down. And all of that, all the way down. I mean, but it was yesterday. Last five days, worse. My goodness. Hey, the share high price uh, that day, uh, the higher uh, was a... Can I get to do that? No, I can't. Okay, the share price, this is the closing. The high was about 102, 104. I can't remember the day. I mean, think about this. This is like what? Down by 12% already. Okay, 12% already. Okay. All right. Oh, someone tell me that the update is it? Oh, of course, just now I just did it about a few an hour ago. Let me just refresh for you. Okay. All right. Okay. I really don't want to really keep on show you guys this. It's actually very disheartening. But what is facts is facts. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, all right. How to pronounce your name? All right. Sorry about that. Huh? Okay. Hundred and sixty nine thousand people falling sick as of today as in US, US side. All right, bad, this is bad. Okay, the thing is, is why is it bad? Why is it bad? Other than share price itself, look at this one. This is where I get it from. Now I looked through the Google, I couldn't find much from mainstream media. So ABC News is not the, the one that I really uh, say they are you know, mainstream. Lah. But nonetheless itself, right? Hospital ICU running out of space due to COVID-19 surges across the country. Obviously, right? I mean, we're talking about 169 people, thousands, sorry, falling sick at the same time. And 150,000 almost every last five days already. Think about it, a million people falling sick. Where got enough bed? My God, serious. I mean, this is going to get in trouble. If the medical staff start to fall sick because of pressure, I tell you this, US is going to get into hell trouble. So seriously, all right, be very careful on this. This is really not the case. And I told you guys before, right? When we hit 150,000, right? Okay, that's where the panic button will run. And you saw it through the CNBC, right? CNBC says on average for 157,000. And that's where the button press really. Okay. 
Now, the thing is this, on the flip side itself, right, you can see that Warren Buffett, okay, Warren Buffett, he start to buy his own share. Now, last MAO, we talked about this already. And people ask me, isn't that good? Because he trusts his company. Uh, well, from one angle, it is. But you think about this. Warren Buffett, Berkshire Haraway, they are basically business. It's, a, it's an investment arm that deals a lot, a lot with this so-called macro products, okay, all the markets. Okay, so think about this. I think the real reason is because he buy back because he's scared that the market start to sell, right? He may he, he's controlling the share, and of course, if sometimes if short sellers come in, he hold the shares, right? He won't have this fear. He can turn around the table and then go back up again. So I think it's a very smart move. So when people says that he's buying shares, right? Because he have confidence in his company share, I believe that this is his way of telling people that be very careful with the economy right now. This is my personal take. By doing this, as a matter of fact. This is his biggest buyback ever, 9 billion shares, okay? 9 billion shares. So you can see that, right? He sold something very critical. He sold Apple away. He sold Apple away. Now, why would you sell Apple away? Because it's precisely, we know. That means that he, he sold it in the third quarter. That means he don't expect it to be good at all, okay? All right, Joe, uh, most occasion country governance still ban on herd immunity. Yes, indeed, still believe in that. Okay, right, then Janet indeed after the election. So if Warren Buffer is selling Apple stocks, now the thing is this, people say, ah, don't worry, your Warren Buffer, now he's behind the years already. Every time he sells, market goes up. Well, this is whereby you're wrong. Look at it, my friends. This is Apple shares after he sells. Look at it, the share price coming off. Okay, the price coming off. So seriously, now, sometimes you really must understand. He was wrong in March because he sell early, right? The share price went up because why? Federal Reserve come in. That shows that he doesn't have any clue of Federal Reserve back then, okay? So he sells the shares away. But now, after he sell again in the th third quarter where the Dow is at the highest point, and if you don't follow, right, I think you're a big silly person instead, okay? So I'm not optimistic on the NASDAQ at all. I'm not optimistic at all. Okay, now the thing is this, let's look at the my PowerPoint once again. Okay. Oh, sorry. I promise you guys this. Sorry. I promise you guys on this. Okay. Let me bring you to this Hang Seng. Right. This is Hang Seng chart. Now, Hang Seng actually has a triple top. Triple top here. There's one top here. Can you see that? One, two, and three. So, Hang Seng have a triple top. I'm not too sure what happened yesterday for the search. But I know this morning you opened lower, that's for sure. All right. Now for a triple top, very simple. Every time when it was near a triple top, okay, there is some form of resistance at the RSI. You can see that that was pretty clear. And this triple top itself, right? Interestingly, all right, even though it, this guy, the C, this is B, this is A, C high is higher than B, but the closing is slight is slightly lower than that. So, which means that right, if the, the Hang Seng comes down, I believe that it will retest again this MA. 30 level, okay, this MA30 level. Okay, all right, that is the Hang Seng chart I have for you. Overall itself, it does look that there's some artificial support like, in the market, honestly, that looks like that, okay? Okay, all right, let's go to our commodities. Now for commodities itself, right, okay, this is the gold prices, this is the news I have for you. So apparently they say that the gold is struggling. Now again, Right, a few days ago, gold was on the upside. The analyst was calling for buy. And of course, when the gold came off now, they say they are struggling. So the question is this, Cal, if the gold price is uh, coming down, that means that we have nothing to, you know, like a way that like there's nothing for us to defend ourselves. Yes, in a way, correct. Huh? Yeah, because you see, I told you guys, when the Dow comes off, the gold comes off. You see that? Yesterday, the Dow Jones came off, right? And you look at the gold now. The gold also coming off. All right, the gold is coming off. So the question is this, where will it be going? I repeat again, the gold MA30, uh, MA200 today is still 1858, it's slightly lower. Yesterday it was 1859, right? So today gold should be testing 1858. I repeat, gold should be testing 1858. Okay, it should be testing there itself, okay? All right, so now we have 1869, right? So same thing again, if gold stays below the opening price of today, which is 1872, then 1858 will be the level that we're watching at. Now, Cal, if we hit there, what happened? Buy back some for short position and then do trailing stop downwards. If the gold really rebound from there, you can still catch a rebound later, don't worry. 
But if the goal don't rebound and crash below, right, the next level is 1840. Okay, I always I've been repeating myself like a broken recorder. Okay, all right. If you can hear me loud and clear, key number two, please. Okay, thank you so much. All right, then I cross back to crude oil. Now, crude oil chart basically has broke out my downtrend line, so I must take this away, no longer in use. Then, of course, the new line has to be drawn, so I draw it live for you now, how I will draw it. This is how I will draw it, okay? This tells you that this is the resistant, okay? Then, of course, you want to be a forceful triangle, forceful, uh, meaning you force it in. Uh, today, uh, the triangle is broken already. So today, uh, based on this chart, uh, based on this chart, uh, today, uh, if crude oil stays below OP, uh, there will be selling. There will be selling on crude oil. And if crude oil comes down, definitely Dow will come down. And Dow come down, gold will come down. So today is a sell, sell, sell day if the crude stay below opening price. Very clear, very upfront. Today I'm very distinct, okay? So watch out for crude. If crude stays below opening price today, it's a seller day. Now where, huh, MA30, what's the MA30 for Hawk or Hang Seng? Okay, Chelsea, I'll do, it, I'll do it for you later on. So crude oil, today opening price is 41.81. So if crude oil breaks below $41, right, be very careful, the selling will come quite strongly, okay? The moving average for crude oil support will be 39.93, about $40, uh, all right, $40, okay? Now back to Hang Seng for you, Chelsea. All right, ME for Hang Seng today. Okay, that is about, 25,561, a bit far away, uh, 1,000 point. But again, Hang Seng to drop 1,000 point uh, is really not, not difficult, <laughs> okay? Not difficult at all. Not maybe one, not in a single day nowadays, uh, maybe about a few more days, okay? All right, be careful on that. Okay, guys, I have completed my technical thing on the market. Just a little sharing here itself. Do take note once again, my coming preview. I have about 70 to 80 people registered already. Thank you so much, but I need more people. Let's make it 200 if it's possible, right? Tell your friends about this. This Saturday preview will be very straightforward. I won't tell you stories. Straight away, I'll tell you what you need to know as a trader using the RSI indicator and what not to use it for. And then after that, tell you what my system is all about. And that's it. I'm a very straightforward person. I have no time to go and go around and around tell you stories, okay? Just go to the preview. Listen what you have to listen. Make a decision, all right? As simple as that itself, okay? All right, because this coming 20th November, I will have a physical revision class, all right? So which means that, right, people who are going for this class itself, right, they can have a chance to actually see me live on 20th November, okay? There's a chance. When I say chance means that they have some terms of condition, okay? All right. So um, this is how it looks like. Give me a short moment before you go. Don't run away, okay? In case you don't know where is it, go to trade with the boys, okay? And then after that, right, you click on this. And you can get to see here. This is the this is the page, and then left only two days. Click on the free preview. Oops. The apology. Key in your names and your details. Save my spot. You will go in now. There will be an email that you need to confirm first. Uh, email to confirm first to bring you the Zoom link. You need to do all that, okay? And of course, you guys know right. If you guys miss this morning MAO because of whatever reason. Then it's on my trade with the boys channel. Yes, my channel, not bad. I got 50 subscribers now. <laughs> now I'm not taking this YouTube seriously. I'm not, I'm only using it for putting my videos, all right? I'm not gonna be doing a lot of YouTube uploading there. I'm not a YouTuber, by the way, no time for that. So every morning, whatever I share, I will put it here just in case you need to look at it. I'll put it on trade with the boys, I'll also put it here, but this is much easier to source, okay? All right, Ken. Okay, that will be all. Before you go, don't go away. Let me give you food of the day. Yes, okay, this is what I like. This guy, anyone know, know him? Okay, this is the Walt Disney. All your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. Right, seriously, my dream to, is to become one of the top trainers in Singapore. All right, okay, and I really want to help more people in life. Okay, by the way, this is Walt Disney, uh, his advertisement back then. Look at it. He, this is his own real, uh, his real own drawing to advertise himself as a cartoonist, all right? This is really very nice drawing, honestly, all right? So guys, I hope that you enjoy this today's MAO, okay? I hope you do good today. Now today, definitely, I believe it's a good day to make money. You shouldn't lose out today, all right? Do make money today and I will see you tomorrow, okay, guys? Okay, take care, guys, take care. Bye-bye. Mm,
拜拜。I stay a bit longer this time round. <laughs> okay, 再见。